Yale Ophthalmology Residency is a nurturing, supportive place to train future ophthalmologists to be the best they can be. I wanted a program that offered very strong and comprehensive clinical training, um, one that would prepare me for really any career trajectory I wanted. This department combines every sort of specialty you could be interested in, but also a size of department that allows you to get to know everybody. Um, you don't get that combination everywhere. Every attending knows the trainees quite well on an individual basis because when they rotate with us, it's only one resident rotating with one or two or three attendings at any given time. When I first interviewed, uh, of course my interviews were during the COVID pandemic and so it was all over Zoom, but even over Zoom I felt like I connected with all the residents. It's a, such a welcoming family-like culture here. The department culture is the main reason I decided to stick around after being um, a fellow here. As a general rule, the majority of the faculty do not see the trainees necessarily as trainees as much as they see them as junior colleagues. We learn just as much from them as they learn from us. It's very nice to come to work with attendings who are very approachable and they're friendly. I think that there's a good balance of having enough work and enough call volume and such to learn a lot. Our program director and program leadership really emphasizes resident wellness and they take a proactive approach to understanding what residents need. I wanted to have a place where I could study but also work but also not be working all the time and I think there's a great balance here of that. So I think our department is really just a fabulous place right now. We really have a balance between our clinical mission, our research mission, and our responsibility to educate the next generation of physicians. I think our main strength is that we're super diverse. So we're about half women, we're about 20% underrepresented minority. We have people that are doing basic science research and clinical research. We have uh, protected research time, we can focus on our research projects. We have lots of didactics and um, we have a lecture every day and lots of educational conferences throughout the year. Everyone coming to Yale will go through uh, Yale New Haven Hospital uh, for internal medicine and then move on to their ophthalmology years. But the great thing is, is that we spent three months of, of our first year uh, with ophthalmology. I'm actually on my first month of ophthalmology rotation right now and I'm at the VA and from the first day I was there I was given my own exam room and I've been able to throughout the weeks learn more and more, practice my exam skills, get more comfortable with the lenses and even start doing intravitreal injections. So I think another excellent thing about our department is that it's in New Haven which is an urban environment, it's a sanctuary city, so we have quite a bit of breadth of population stemming from people that are coming here for their annual eye visits that are uncomplicated to patients that come here with once in a career rare eye diseases. We get to work at the Cornell Scott Hill Health Clinic. We also have opportunity to work in the Dana Eye Clinic as well, uh, which is attached to the main hospital here. In both of those clinics, uh, we work with a lot of patients who are uninsured and so we could provide them with care that they otherwise would not be able to get. We have cool stuff. So we have the OCTs, the OCTAs, we have the Silverstone where you can, you know, get a, you know, B scan from one end to the other end of a retina. It's really helpful when you're looking at really complex retinal detachments. We have people from every subspecialty here, so it's really easy to find someone who can, you know, kind of help guide you into that. Um, field. You start off doing things that are less invasive to more invasive. So in your first year you're doing mostly extraocular surgery with peds and neuro as well as plastics. And then in second and third year you graduate into intraocular surgery. And I think that having that wide array of patients and complexities um, of the ocular conditions that we see definitely helps to give us that confidence. We try to encourage residents to participate in research. Uh, we like that residents are involved in our quest to answer challenging questions that directly impact patient care. Some of our best ideas actually come from our students and from our residents. You know, they set you up with a mentor, and the mentor is in, um, if, if you know what field you want to go into, the mentor will be from that field. And if you don't, you just talk to that person with the department here, and they help you put in touch with like contacts. 
I was here as a resident, now as a fellow, I've been involved in research all throughout my time here. There is a lot of benchwork research, a lot of computational, analytical um, things going on as well. We're not trying to train just one type of person here. We really try to give people the flexibility to pursue their interests during residency training. Most departments at ophthalmology are not like this, and on top of that, it's a collegial and friendly place to train. We get excellent clinical training, and uh, it's a nice work environment. I feel that I'm ready to go into practice and have great mentors that I can still reach out to if I need in the future, and that is just the feeling of family here is amazing. Residency um, in ophthalmology is going to be tough um, wherever you go, so I think it's really important to find a program that really cares about you, uh, your well-being, and also is focused on helping you grow. Yale has everything. So if there's something else that you would like to tie into your ophthalmology or something else that you would like to think through, there's probably somebody here that is not only doing it, is an expert at it. So if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely uh, choose Yale Ophthalmology Residency Program again. I just think that it's a, a great balance between clinical and, and surgical education and that it's just, it's really great supportive community.